This is the plaintiff, Kiana Goodley. She says she rented a four-bedroom house from the defendants, moved out, and left the place in tip-top condition. The defendants, however, refused to return her hard-earned security deposit. She's tired of getting a constant runaround and is suing these people for every penny of the $700 she's owed. These are the defendants, Lena Ong and Gustavo Pinheiro. Lena says the plaintiff moved out late, broke some doors in the apartment, and caused some damages to the bathroom. When they told the plaintiff they were going to deduct the repair costs, the woman flipped out, even had a man call and threaten them on the phone. Bottom line, they sent the woman a check for the amount she's owed, and they can't wait to tell the judge the facts in this case so she can put an end to things once and for all. They're accused of skimming on security. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff rented a place and the defendant won't return the security, even though plaintiff says the place was in perfect condition. But the defendant says the bathroom was damaged. It's the case of untidy bowl. Thank you, Douglas. Kiana Goodley. Yes. You are suing You Smiling Property Management and 3450 Berkeley Trust, Good. represented here by Lena Ung and Gustavo Pinheiro. You are the owners? Yes. Okay, and what's your relationship to each other? Anything? Yes. Yep, right. Partners. <laughs> partners. <laughs> Besides partners. Life partners. Life partners. Yes. Okay. All right, for $700, a return of a security deposit that, according to you, they are unlawfully withholding, uh, according to you, you're withholding a portion of it. What happened? Um, we did a walkthrough on the day I got out. Of How long October. did you live there? I moved in October the 25th of 2014. And what kind of building is this? It's a house, a four-bedroom, two-bathroom oh, house. Okay. And you lived there for one year? Yes. All right. Did you live there with anybody else? My children. How old are your children? 16, 15, 14, and 9 at the time. Okay. And uh, so you move out, and you do a walkthrough on what day? The 1st. October the 1st. How come I mean, you weren't out on September 30th? Um... Was it, was your did your was your lease up? September? It ended the September the thirtieth. Right. So okay. So were you out on September thirtieth? I was out on the first. The next day. October the first. Wasn't there a new tenant coming in that day? They hadn't got a tenant there. Okay. So what happens? Um, I move out. I come back to the property and do a walkthrough with her. Okay. She tells me she'll be in touch. Okay. I don't hear back from her, so I go to question and when am I getting my deposit? When do you question? How long after the walkthrough? I guess. I would say maybe a few days after the walkthrough. Okay. Then she tells me um, they have 30 days. Right. I say, by law, you have 30 days if something's wrong. If nothing's wrong, you have two weeks to give it back to me. Ooh, good one. But it's up to them to decide if they think something's wrong and worth pursuing. So Correct. what the law actually says is that if they're going to return it, they need to return it within 15 days, not three days, 15 days. And if they decide that they're not going to return it, then uh, they need to, within 30 days, File, uh, send a letter to you, your last known address, explaining what, it, itemizing why they would keep anything and what for, correct? That's correct. the law in Florida. All right, so, but they certainly don't have to give it to you in three days, right? No, I didn't tell them three days. All right. So, but you call back three days afterwards to find out where it is. Yes. Okay. To find, <laughs> All when right. I did question it, they was telling me they had already put it in the mail. And I'm like, what mail? What, what mail did you put it in? So they, wait a minute. So they said, oh, don't worry, we've already put it in the mail. Catherine, one of her workers, told, te sent me a text message and said that they put it in the mailbox. What day was that? It was, it was more than a week. Okay, so about a week later, more than a week later, you get word from her assistant that they've sent you a check. Did you get a check in the mail? No. They told me they, le they left it at the last known address. Which I was the place there. where you were living? Yes. Okay, had you given them a follow-up address during the walkthrough? No, but... Okay, so they mail it to the old place, but did you put a change of address in the, air, in the airplane? In the no, post no, office so that no. it would get to you? Not from that address. I just changed it with the bill companies because that's all I had coming there was okay. bills. So it didn't get to you? Nothing got to you? No, and when they told me they put it in the mailbox, I went over there and looked in the mailbox, and I knocked on the door, and... Nobody came to the door. Okay, so bottom line is you never got any check from them, including no. the one that they, that you maintained that you sent her a check for half the money, right? And you never got I never that. got a check. Okay. So did you get the check back? No. Was the check cashed? No, it doesn't okay. show that it was cashed. Okay. So when do you first learn why they're keeping any portion of your deposit? 
She, when I went to question her, when are you going to give me my deposit? Then she went to saying, well, your pod was still there for days. And I'm like, no. Your what? My pod. Your pod. Okay. The moving pod. A uh, storage pod in the front, on the front uh, it was driveway? On the concrete. Okay. How long was your storage pod there for after you left? A day. So when did you get your storage pod out of there? October they 2nd? And, they came and picked it up October the 2nd. That was out of my control. It's the company. Oh, that is in your control. It's your company. That's not... That's like, in other words, you're supposed to call them to pick it up a week earlier so that you have an appointment so they pick it up by September 30th. Did you get that part, right? Yes. You're supposed to be up by September 30th. Did you get another tenant for the house or you didn't get another tenant? Yes, we did got a tenant for another house and we scheduled the inspection on the second because she told me that I'm going to leave the house really clean and conditioned and everything. So I was expecting her to leave end of September and she didn't leave until the first. So I have to postpone the inspection on the second until later dates. And after she moved out, I found out that we had to fix a couple things before we can do the inspections. Okay, did you, but the tenant signed a lease or no? What it is is that the, the housing has to do an inspection first. Before is this we a section the eight? Yes. yes. And so did you rent again too. under section eight? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay, so now why did you keep any of the security deposit? Because according to you, there's damages. Yes, and I got pictures, and I also have bills from the handymans and, and the uh, okay. AC. Okay, what, what was wrong that would cause you to keep $350? Um, we're supposed to keep more, but I just want to make sure that she's not unhappy about me keeping it all. Okay. Um, so I, I return... Well, tell me what have, she did wrong that would allow you wrong. to keep three. So the door, uh, the closet doors, sure. the closet door was broke at the 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 the, the rack. What the, is the it? Closet, he was there. The, the um, the bifold doors. Yep. They yeah, were, got they were off the here. rack and then they were broken. The, May I see a picture yes. of the bifold doors off sure. the rack and broken? Put your hand down. They're testifying now. I'll get back to you. Okay. What is this supposed to be showing me? Because yeah. all I see is, I'm very familiar with these so kinds that, of bifold the, doors. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where they, I guess they have them everywhere, but uh, South Florida, yeah. they have them a lot. Yeah, yeah. What did she do wrong other than that this needs to be adjusted and put back If you in the look rack? closely on that, it's kind of hard in the picture to show, but the, the actual track needed to be replaced. because Because what happened was, I guess they tried to adjust it before, and it was bent. And so, like, the track was not replaceable anymore. I mean, uh, it didn't work anymore. So, so did you replace the track or did you buy all new doors? We had to replace the doors too. Why would you have to replace the doors? Because it only comes in a set. Either you get the doors with it or without the track. Why can't you just buy the track? They don't sell that separately. So what did you do? Did you buy all new doors? Oh, well, I didn't. The handyman did. And his is his bill. Let me see the handyman's bill. Hey, maybe you're right. Maybe it comes. I know that when you buy those closet doors, they come with their own track. But mm -hmm. I just, it seems so ridiculous to not I, sell I don't the know track. how to fix that. So we just whatever the handyman Whatever the handyman tell. said. Yes. All right. Yeah. But see, I got to make sure it's a legitimate expense. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, all right. What about that closet? What happened to the closet? I was informed by the inspector since they kept falling down on me and my children to take them down or remove them. And that's what we did. We took them down so they stopped falling on us. And they were told that. That's ridiculous, because that's not what Section 8 would do. I'm familiar with what Section 8 would do. Section 8 would tell them we're not paying you rent. Go fix those closet doors. That's what Section 8 does. Yes, well, in fact, Section 8 does that if there's a light bulb that's out. But you show me something in writing where Section 8 said that. I don't have nothing in okay. writing. I only so what had what you I, done? You'd taken apart the closet doors? I just took it. Once it fell down and broke and fell down on me, I just stuck it to the side in the closet and walked in and out the closet because it kept falling down. It wasn't attached properly anyway. And according to you, somebody jammed it and broke the rod, and that's why it wasn't working right. Yeah. All right. Uh, in terms of damages, how much are you holding? Not damages for rent, but damages for damages. Sure, 373. Did she get out on September 30th? No. When did she get out? She got out on end of October 1st. End of October? Oh, end oh, of the day the of end October 1st. End of the day, 1st, October 1st. And then and her stuff was still looking like this. Let me see. What did she leave behind? This shit. Right here, there's three pictures. Okay. What is, what is that a pic? A mattress was left in the. That's on trash the that she left this on the property. Is left. Okay. What's that over here? Uh, that's like some ab workout machine. That she also left on the property? So did you throw these out? No, no. She picked it up eventually. Oh, when did she pick those up? 
I believe it's on the 3rd of October. When did you pick up the, the ab machine? The same and the, day. The ab machine and the mattress that you left out. That stuff was removed the same day. What day? Later on, the, the, on the 1st. On the 1st. Okay. This is garbage that was there. That she left. On the, that on she the left. But that's basically in the garbage can. It's not like there's a bunch of trash all around. It's not so okay. bad. Yeah. And then this is the problem. And yes. this was there. Well, it's a problem. I, mean, I don't know how much of a problem. I, that, this, but that doesn't stop you from going in and cleaning up the place and stuff. So this was left in front of the house until when? Um, I passed by end of October 2nd. It was still there. Okay. So and according I, to her, it got moved October 2nd. Do you have the paperwork from I them? sure do. Okay. You know, you're awful angry for somebody who went two days over. So if... A landlord is running to a Section 8 tenant. Do you think Section 8 tenants are, you know, scrutinized more where the landlord is more likely to withhold the security? Probably. Because uh, why? Because they're more likely to be drug addicts and... Uh, is yeah. that necessarily true? I mean, that's kind of... Is that true? No, I don't think so. But since they are already getting help, I think that they would have some kind of stipulation towards it. So. You think that Section 8 tenants have a harder time getting their security back? Um, I think they make less money, so that makes them a little more, uh, less reliable. And vulnerable. And vulnerable. Yep, going inside the courtroom. You're angry about, uh, like, it's, you're indignant, but you know, I mean, the rules apply to everybody, including a Section 8 tenant. I if you're supposed it. to be out by the 30th and you're not out, do you understand that other people have to pay the month of October in rent? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you do understand that. All right. Now, you're not asking for rent for the entire month of October. You are... You are asking to keep 350 under the theory that you sustained some damages with this closet door. And what else? Anything else? The, the days that she, she's late. The, ov the overstay. Mm -hmm. But anything else in yes. terms of damages? The, there, there is damages, but I, I didn't mention it on the thing. She has a dog there that she's not supposed to, and it damaged the, uh, the wall here. Yeah. Can I see that? Sure. Yeah. And what is going on? Like, what are you showing me here? Because I can't, I, I don't know what yeah. you're telling me to look at. Yeah, that's the corner there. The, 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 the dog bit, chew yeah. on it. Yeah. Who was chewing on the corner? The dog. <laughs> no, I heard you. I'm asking you. <laughs> okay. Why is the corner of that the wall all chewed up? Was the dog yeah. chewing? Can I see that picture? Did you have a dog? Yes, I did. And they knew about it. I paid her Who's a deposit. They? Who's they? Lena Ong. Um, okay, I have the receipt for that deposit. Section 8 know that you, or they don't care? They don't, my, they inspect that I met my dog, pet my dog when he comes there. They don't, but they don't have any restrictions. They don't have any restrictions on no dog. That's one of my kids. The dog is? Yes, he is. What kind of dog is it? A pit bull. Mm -hmm. That's not no chewing on the wall. That's not from the dog. How would the dog chew on the wall? Well, I don't know. How is your chew marks on the wall? Because <laughs> I'm looking at them in the Is she saying chew marks or shoe marts? No, she's saying I... chew. C-H-E-W is what she's saying. That's not no chew marks. All right. Based on what I'm listening to, I think it's completely reasonable for you to withhold the $350. Yes. And I am ordering you to... to you know that other check wasn't cash, right? So I am ordering a judgment in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of three hundred and fifty dollars. That's my judgment. Your Honor, Good luck. You folks. didn't That's even see my, pi my pitches. Oh, oh, my God. Until the plaintiff comes out here uh, on the losing end of this this case, uh, what's your reaction? I just think it's bull. Mm -hmm. What about the lateness? I had all my receipts for everything, everything. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to get out. You know, you got to get out on time. That's I very, very that. important. Put you behind the eight ball there. Okay. Thank you. All right. So step on in here, and uh, what, what's your what's your comment on this? I think it's pretty fair. I think we got a good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How would you describe the tenant? Um, I wouldn't rent it to her again. All the rents that I collect from her for the nine months or eleven months that she were there went to repair all of it. Okay. Pretty simple, Harvey. Okay, Kurt, got to say, when a landlord comes in with invoices showing the work was actually done to repair, uh, that is powerful evidence. And that will do it for this case, litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.